when warranted by the large volume of aerodrome ground traffic, an appropriate RT-equipped apron management service, which may not necessarily be the local air traffic service unit, will be provided to regulate movement of ground traffic with the objective of preventing collisions between aircraft and between aircraft and obstacles, regulate entry of aircraft into and coordinate exit of aircraft from aprons, ensure safe and expeditious movement of vehicles, visually monitor aircraft stands, regulate all other activities. The ground servicing of aircraft must be undertaken safely and expeditiously using appropriate equipment. Initial firefighting equipment and personnel trained to use it must be in place around aircraft being refuelled and serviced. There must also be a means of quickly summoning the services of the Aerodrome Fire and Rescue Service. Environmental contamination incidents must also be controlled. When aircraft are being refuelled whilst passengers are embarking or disembarking, ground equipment shall be positioned to allow for the use of sufficient number of exits for expeditious evacuation and a ready escape route from each of the aircraft exits to be used in the event of an emergency. Birds represent a continuing danger to the safe operation of aircraft and pilots are to report all instances of bird strikes to the appropriate authority. It is the authority that must instigate measures to reduce the dangers posed to aircraft from birds by implementing procedures and plans to control the activity of birds within the confines of aerodromes. ICAO are particularly interested in bird strikes, migration patterns, etc. There is a bird management scheme called, appropriately, IBIS, in force.